Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a very serious video and I feel like the lighting's not good enough, but we're gonna turn it back up. This video is my last video for a very long time. And I decided to go out with a bang and I'm gonna make my ramen noodle recipe and it's made with Cheetos and Takis and lots of spice and nuclear sauce. This is my recipe and it's my favorite thing to eat and it brings happiness to me because I have been kind of upset lately and um, I need happiness to come into my life and the only thing that I know how to get happiness instantly is by eating. And I don't know if I'm the only one in the world who feels this way, but I feel that when I eat ramen noodles, now I don't like these ramen noodles. I've had them before. They're not very good. The last time I took a bite, I said, why am I here? I brought these all the way from Thailand and I put them into my suitcase. The last time I went there, which I'm thinking about moving back there because it's more affordable. I feel happy. I don't know how to explain it. I don't have friends there, so maybe it's a bad idea, a stupid idea, because I don't speak the language. I don't know where to go. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what is gonna happen with my life. I don't know what the future holds for me. Um, but I feel properly medicated. I feel prob properly leveled out and very focused and I feel very, very smart. And it's also because of my krill oil, hashtag not smokes, but it does help. But listen, I have been all over the place with my sleep apnea, my obtrusive, obtrusive, um, obtrusive, um, obstricted airways, all of my insomnia, my anxieties, my behavioral issues, my depression, my very upset. I've just, you know, it's been a hot mess, hot express, hot ride for me lately. And um, I am gonna make myself happy by eating. And I feel very smart. And I didn't have sardines. Sardines have always been my thing that I eat for smartness. And I've told you guys, when I eat can canned sardines, which are very affordable, when I eat them, I feel that I can feel the EPA in my head going zing, zing. I can feel that DHA, that seafood, fishy, fishy, fishy flavor all up in my scalp, making me feel alive and smart and focused. I'm properly medicated right now and it feels so good to be smart, to feel focused, to feel at peace, to feel at one with myself. And that's where I am right now, feeling at one with myself. I still have sleep insomnia. I'm still very, very tired. <sighs> I'm so tired of being tired. But I'm not able to get my sleep apnea machine for another week, basically, eight, nine days. So I'm kind of stuck in limbo right now because in America, hashtag America, you have to have a doctor, look at the analytics, come back a second time, write you a prescription, and then they have to take it to the company and then you can order your sleep machine. And then it takes another couple days or a week to ship it to you. So. It's been rough, okay, it has been rough. I actually just ordered something um, for my sleep apnea. So if you don't know, sleep apnea is when your throat is closing, the muscles in your face relax when you're sleeping, and your, the muscles behind your tongue start closing the airway behind your tongue in your throat. And that's what creates snoring, the vibrations. It's the air trying to pass through. The best thing for the solution is to obviously lose weight, but a lot of people who are still underweight or at good weight, like myself, you know, um, well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not at a healthy way right now, so maybe I should take that back. What I meant to say is I could very possibly be one of these people, here's the example, of when you are at a healthy weight, you're a very healthy weight and you still have it. It's just your design. And also stress induces your throat closing. So, um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I'm so tired of being tired. But today I'm gonna to be answering your questions on my Twitter and my Instagram, and this is very long overdue. This is from a couple of weeks ago. I never did it. Oh, new message on Grinder. Hello. Um, on my Twitter, follow my Twitter, Nikocado Avocado. Um, and I I did a Q and A, and I never got to it. Here we go. This is from one seventeen, the seventeenth of January. 
okay? We are now in February. So this is two weeks old, uh, but this video is in real time. So we're going back a couple of weeks, uh, give or take. Um, gosh, I can't do math. But I'm gonna answer some of these questions and I'm gonna answer them truthfully and honestly and give you guys shout outs. And my brain is pounding right now from the lack of sleep. But oh, like I'll say, <sighs> um, like I was saying, oh, look, I have my Cheetos here. Cheetos bag number one. Cheetos bag number two. I don't know how many I'm gonna use. We're gonna use some nuclear sauce and we will scream like a little bitch. <laughs> um, Nick, bleep that out. Nick, bleep out those words. We don't need those words to get this channel demonetized. So, um, yeah, I'm waiting for that machine. In the meantime, I ordered something from Amazon. No, it's come from Vital Choice. No, Vital, Vital Sleep. Basically, it moves your lower jaw, your, your lower teeth forward like this. And by moving it forward, you're pulling that muscle back and open up your airways well. It is the most uncomfortable uncomfortable thing. I just put it on literally for 20 seconds. And it's been a couple of hours and my teeth still hurt. It was yanking on my teeth. I felt like my teeth were being pulled out of their sockets. There's no way in heck I can sleep with that. So it's just going to be a rough ride until I get that sleep machine. And it's just going to pump in that air through my face. It's pressurized. And it's going to push it oxygen to keep that open. Constant oxygen. And um, I need it so badly. I need it so badly. My sleep has been such a messed up thing in my life lately. Um, I would never wish this on anybody. Ever. Ever. Because when you don't sleep and you're not sleeping properly, you feel like you are out of this world. And it can make you die. And it's just really sad. It's just so, you have to be very careful if you're not sleeping properly. Clearly I'm a hot mess express and I'm so sick of not being able to sleep, but I can't. And when I do, it's not proper resting. I take my sleeping pills, but then they make me messed up for the whole day. And then I also read some really nice woman sent me a, an email saying that she has sleep apnea and the doctor told her, oh gosh, am I, my neck hurts from the pillows because I have to sleep upright. I'm just in so much pain. I just want my machine. I was actually this close to flying to Columbia. <laughs> flying to Columbia, I don't know. Not talking to Orland. Don't know anyone there. Don't speak the language, but I want the dang machine. Get it over with. Oh, like, you don't need a prescription and stuff there. You just get it. Remember I used to get my B12 shots and stuff there? Just walk into the pharmacy. Well, then I went to the nurse's house, but I just walked into her living room. Plop down, peep, there we go, the shot. You know, just so easy, so lay back. But, it, oh gosh, my neck. Anyways, all I'm gonna say is that I can't wait for this machine. And I feel so out of it, so sick, so messed up on top of the all the psychological problems I've happened, on top of all my emotional distress, on top of my severe, severe sadness, on top of my Sadness on top of sadness. <sighs> I need oxygen so bad. <laughs> so anyway, today I'm gonna be doing a recipe. It's very easy. All you have to do, I don't think I'm gonna make it for you. I mean, yeah, we'll do a quick little recipe for you because it's naked gato avocado, okay. I'll take you to my kitchen and I'll film it. It's very easy. You take some ramen noodles, any kind you like. Discard the flavoring. I hate this flavoring. It's gross. It gives me such bad headaches from the MSG. So it's gonna go into the trash, but I do like the noodles. I want five packs. So I have this one here. This is a black bean noodle, the olive oil kind. I didn't really like it. So that can go into the trash too. And then you take um, your Cheeto sauce, which I'm gonna make, and it contains garlic, onions. Um, what else do I have? Cheetos or Takis and um, green onions and all this different ingredients and you mix it on up and then when you're done with that you add in some nuclear sauce you add in some saffron for some color and then you add all them together and you're done so let's go to the kitchen okay this is the um, ramen all I'm gonna do is take it out and put it in I like to use this because it uses less energy 
um, this thing versus the actual stove top, which is kind of dirty, so don't look at it. Here I have some beets. Oh my gosh, please focus, focus. And what I'm gonna do is add garlic. So I already have one clove. I'm gonna do a second one like that and a third one like that. This here is very spicy honey. It includes a Cal Cal Carolina Reaper. So it's honey, it's sweet, but spicy. So I'm just gonna go like that. Add some paprika, just like that. This here is Korean bibim. Bibim jang, jang sauce. Bibim jang, bibim jang. And I've already actually put two squirts in there. And then I forgot to record it, so I'm trying to get another one out. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so I just took this out. You know how I didn't really like it? It is pretty boring. It's very boring, not very memorable, but it's very salty, and this will make some great flavoring. So I'm just gonna put this into here. It's a salty, savory, almost tastes like vegetable mushroom soup or something. Beefy, very good. So I'm just gonna add maybe one or two of them for some extra flavors. Bam, and that's it with the recipe. It's very, very easy. And um, I didn't show you me blending it up. And we also added Takis instead of Cheetos. Shh. Cause I like the color it makes better. So this is the, the sauce. I also have some special ingredients there, which I'm not gonna tell you yet. But if you want the full recipe for my Cheetos noodle sauce, leave the flame emoji down in your comments. And if I see enough of them, if I see that the people wanna know the updated recipe that tastes even better, you have to let me know down below. Otherwise, I can't read your mind. So, I'm gonna be enjoying this with some Cheetos puffs, some water, and some thoughts and prayers because this is gonna make my, my behind on fire. So cheers to a wonderful eating show as we address your comments, criticism, crit critiques, and concerns on my Twitter. Everyone's dying to know. Okay, so, oh, these are the, oh. So these are the cookie ones that Hyunny Eats gave me. They're very long, but you can't eat with them. They're a little too long, so I'm gonna put them down over there. These are the more normal ones. I just wanna try the noodles as is real quick, just like a little pit taste. Maybe I should have done it already. These are a lot thinner than I like. Again, I'm, I'm using what I have in the house. Mm. Mm. I actually love the plain ramen. Mm. Salty, chewy, carbs. Oh yes. So here we go. Let's try not to make too much of a mess. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's start out with that. Let's see what happens just from that. Okay, hopefully nothing's down there that will stain. That's the thing about beets, they stain. I'm gonna go very carefully as I mix this around. Oh my God, I forgot the cheese. Should we do cheese? We should totally do cheese. Cheese would be really epic. Ooh, we should do some hot cheese. Oh, don't you think we should do some cheese? I feel like we should do some cheese. Oh my God, see? I have a bib on, as you can see, because I know this will be messy. Let me stand up. Excuse the double chin as I work around and try to mix this sauce in without splattering my nice white walls. We'll have to pay when I leave for them to paint it. I don't know. Actually, don't know how that part works. I don't know. Do you have to pay for that? I feel like that's the landlord's responsibility. Like, tenants are allowed to have little messed up walls. <laughs> They're gonna wonder what the heck went on in here with all those red splatters up against the wall. Who was living in here? My goodness. Oh, look at the chunks of Takis in there. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. I feel like this is not enough, so we're gonna add a little bit more. Down in here, and down in there. Mm-hmm. That's right. Lots of vegetables. Mm. This is what needs to be spread, down over here. It's actually hard to use chopsticks to get the little pieces. I've always wondered how people do that. And they're using chopsticks and they're trying to get that out like that. Okay. Okay, my little sloths, okay. I think we are good to go. It looks like pizza sauce, I know. Should I get cheese? I definitely feel like I should have cheese in here. I don't know, I just feel like I should. <gasps> should we 
we have cheese? I don't know. It's good without cheese. I am trying to be on a diet. We could get a little, let's. We love cheese. <gasps> da -dun. We love cheese. Da -dun. Yes, we do. We love cheese. Da -dun. We love cheese. Da -dun. We love cheese. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. We love cheese. Da -dun. We love cheese. Da -dun. We love cheese. Da -dun. Yes, we do. We love cheese. We love cheese. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Here, let's get a cheese, a Cheeto. That's a Cheeto in there. Oh my God. Ooh. Cheers. Follow my Twitter, at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. Ooh. Cheers. Mmm. Let's get another Cheeto. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, look at this Cheeto. It's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Cheese wrapped Cheetos. Let's try it with some noodles. Here we go. Ooh. Yes, dressed to impress, let's take a Cheeto. Let's put it into the fondue, here we go. Mm. And we wrap it on around, ooh. Cheers to a wonderful eating show. And there's a little piece of noodle in there as well. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Who's winning tonight, me? <gasps> I'm winning tonight, yes I am. Finally, a day where I can smile. A day where I can take a breath and say, wow, my life has been crazy lately. Mm. Mm. I am the noodle king. You can't deny it. I am the Noodle King. Mmm! Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my God, this is so, so heavenly. Oh, oh my God, yes! Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I have to answer everyone's questions now. We have a lot to get through. I haven't looked at them for two weeks because there's been all this drama. Here I go. Mmm. 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 This is gonna stay in my feet. This is why I wear a bib. Let's take some krill oil for my heart. <laughs> God knows I need it. Ah, cheers. Mm. Okay, let's do one, one more big cheesy bite while the cheese is still hot and steamy, and we'll start answering all our questions. Oh my God. Don't splash too much. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God. Oh wow. Mmm.
How are you today? This meal should be called 101 napkins. Literally. We need some more Cheetos over here. Ooh. Mm. So let's see what everyone wants to know from me. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna go kind of in order. I have to scroll all the way down. This is from literally a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> Let's just go in order. Gigi, what are we doing in our mukbangs? Hi, Gigi, gorgeous. I don't know. DM me, girl. Um, how do you deal with all the hate? Hey, Kaylee, I don't. I mean, sometimes I do. And then I guess, how do I do it when I do deal with it? Um, I just don't read it. I just don't read it. As long as it doesn't go into my mind, which is very sensitive, I'm fine. So a solution for me is to just not read anything. Don't click on any videos made about me. They're always twisted. It's like, it's like the tabloids. It sounds nice and extreme to make people pick it up and buy it. Mm. I don't, I barely watch any videos about me. They do get to me if I keep seeing them over and over, but as long as I don't have to watch them, I'm good. Do you miss being vegan? Hi, I'm here. Hello. Um, no. I mean, at times, sometimes. Um, but I don't. Everything happens for a reason. I like the journey I took. I don't regret it. But I don't. I miss feeling healthy sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, sometimes healthy gets boring and it's just too, it's just too much. Sometimes you drive yourself mentally insane if you're too healthy. As I've learned recently, it doesn't matter what the heck you're eating. If you're stressed mentally, you're gonna die sooner, age rapidly, da 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 da. High blood pressure. Would you do a house tour? Hi, Jody. Um, I don't know, because I might leave. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, would you and your husband renew your marriage? Hi, Corinthia. Um, no. This was obviously before. Have you butt dialed anyone? Yes. I don't do it very often because I don't keep my phone in my pocket. That's a little fun fact about me. Or if I do, it's always in my front pocket. I hate things in my butt pocket. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. <clears throat> now I know that it's just an expression. I'm sure if I accidentally dial you from my front pocket, it's still considered butt dialing. My parents used to do it to me all the time. <laughs> all the time. They're like, hey guys, I haven't heard from you for a couple months. And I just hear... <laughs> muffled talking. It's usually weather in the car. <laughs> um, no. I, fun fact about me, I don't like to keep my phone in my pocket at all. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. We need to get some noodles in there, too. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. When's the last time you had an avocado? Today, Bella. I might have another one tonight. Actually. I love avocados. Did man really li land on the moon? Hi, Dominic. Plus, P.S. Your air vent needs dusting. My air vent? 
Oh, something in the ceiling. That sounds like a lot of work, Dominic. I don't clean. I mean, I try. It's hard cleaning when you're overweight. That's like a workout in itself. Um, the man land on the moon, I think. I don't see, huh, I know that's a conspiracy theory. Hmm. I know that's a big conspiracy theory. I think I think they obviously did. We keep going back. I think we're about to we're about to go back again. Maybe, maybe not we, but I mean like humans. So I guess it's still considered we. Oh my God, if I stain this table from this video, um, are all your siblings adopted or are you the only one? Some of them are, some of them aren't. I have five siblings. <gasps> we just got oh. We got a hate email. It just came down. I thought it was another OnlyFans. You guys, today I put up another OnlyFans video. And I was choking the chicken. <clears throat> People are very in impressed, which is nice. One thing people aren't hating me about. Finally. Talk about getting some self-esteem back. And see, that's not in my control. Yeah, actually one of my viewers sent me a photo, one of my followers there sent me a photo was saying like, oh, what do you think of me? And it was so big, sometimes too big is too much. Like I think, I honestly, if it came down to something like this big, this looks like that Uber driver, I remember him. And kind of like a tower. And then some, you have half this amount, like this much, but it's like a, like a soda can. I'd prefer the second one. I don't know. Too long's too much. Actually, too thick is too much, too. Can't put it anywhere. It hurts everywhere. <clears throat> oh, gosh. See, at the end of the day, I think I just like normal, regular sizes the most. Ooh, this is really spicy. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, don't, wouldn't you agree? If you could change something about your life, what would it be? This comes from RK. Hello, RK. Um, I would... I don't know. I think I would have never gone on YouTube. So at, right now, I'm being honest, I kind of feel like I, if I would have never done YouTube, I wouldn't have wound up where I am now. Pushing someone so wonderful away from me. Hello, this is Hat Kitty. Hi, Hat Kitty. Oh, I've answered one of your questions before. I see that you get lots more dislikes than likes, but now it's okay. If you care or not, please. Maybe you need to consider retiring from the mukbang community. I was just thinking, please do not take the wrong idea. You know? Sometimes I think it, and then sometimes I say, I am the mukbang king. Kings can still have issues. And I love mukbang. I love eating. I love talking. I love stuffing my face. I love doing cheese pulls. It's so exciting. I like making people laugh. I was the class clown growing up. I don't know if you could tell, or that would surprise you. I was the class clown. I like to entertain people. I was the class clown. I remember in kindergarten, I used to purposefully try to make people laugh all the time. Make funny faces, make noises, make the whole class giggle. It just, I, I love to, I like the spotlight, I like to perform, I like the attention, but I like to make people happy. I make, like to make people enjoy themselves. And I feel like with mukbang, I really get to do that because I'm enjoying my food so much and it's so natural for me to just, um, nom nom, you know, shove it in my face and be all sloppy. Now I feel really full. Actually, to be honest, I kind of have a headache. I think I'm dehydrated. I need more water. Um, what was your question? Oh, retire from the mukbangs. 
I don't know. I should just stop talking about people, I think. Oh, hello, cheese. Yeah, maybe I should just stop talking about people. But I'm so opinionated. Mm. Mm. How's your sleep schedule? Still really bad, Lewis. Um, when's the last time you've had spicy noodles? Right now, Tatiana. What's the name of your hairstyle? The Nikocado Avocado McDonald's Jollibee hairstyle. <laughs> I've had this hairstyle for, God, like a decade now. Gross ceiling or whatever that is. Oh. It's not my ceiling, but thanks. Do you watch the videos here? This comes from Nikocado Avocado fan page. Do you watch the, let me click on your thing. Oh my God, look at all those followers. Do you watch the videos made about you on the drama and tea channels? I'd say 90% of the time I don't watch. I just see the titles and thumbnails. I like to see, but I don't like to watch. So I usually never watch them because if I do, you know when I do, I'm having a breakdown that evening. If I'm having a big old breakdown, it's because I'm watching people say how much they hate me. And it just, I want to be loved. It, I don't know if it's from the whole adoption thing or it's from being the loser in high school who was gay thing and was always backed into a corner. I just want to feel appreciated. I want to feel loved. I like to entertain. And I feel like I fight to get that. So when I watch those videos about me, um, it really, I don't care that the videos are made about me. At the end of the day, they spread my name better than anything. You know, the whole psychology of it. Like, that's how Donald Trump Donald Trump won the presidency. You know, as long as your name's in people's mouths, they're thinking about you. That cost money. That's a million dollar advertisement to all those hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, think about sponsorships. I mean, a sponsorship could pay thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for you to put their, their name in your mouth. Because <clears throat> they know even if it's negative, they're, you're thinking of it. So, I mean... That's why I tell myself it might not even be true, but that's why I tell myself to get over it. I'm like, okay, spreading my name, like Donald Trump. <laughs> you always remember the villain. You never remember the, um, you do remember the good guy, but you remember the bad guy just as much. Everyone in between kind of fades away. So I tell myself, I'm like, okay, well, they think I'm this terrible person. It's publicity. I can write it off as that. It makes me feel better. Or brush off my shoulder, but if I watch it, oh no, there's nothing I can say that makes me feel better because then I really hate myself. I feel like I'm not good enough. I see how many people think I'm the I'm bad. I'm this bad, and I'm I have a heart. You know, if I had no emotions, it wouldn't. I'd be like, oh, I don't care. Like it bothers me so much. How do I deal with it? I just don't click on it. I mean, some of them that I've watched, I, I like the one by Laughable, that channel. They're hilarious. The ones me and Trisha, they've done it a few times. You know, like obviously I'm edited to be the loser, but I still enjoy, you know, that's funny. And it's harmless. And honestly, once I looked at my analytics, cause I had my video, their video came out. The moment their video came out, my analytics, people went to my video to comment about it. And it's like, oh, okay, they, you helped me. So I tried to think of it in a healthy way. I think everyone's free to their opinion. Everyone can say what they want to say. Um, but how do I handle it? What was the, um, do I watch it? Yes and no. Most of the time, no, believe it or not. That should answer your question. I like that it's out there. It's okay if it's out there. I'm not, but, um, if I'm actually coming to sit down to watch it over and over, video after video, I'm like, oh, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> it's too much to handle, so I just don't. Would you rather be rich or famous? Rich. Uh, well, actually, no. Well, I don't know, actually. Because I love the attention. I do like, I want to, okay. Famous for a good reason. How about that? Like David Dobrik famous, okay? Like where you're just loved and appreciated. Not famous like uh, Osama bin Laden. Okay. <laughs> Um, and rich, I don't even know about that because I don't feel like I need a lot of money in my life to be happy. Um, I feel like if I could make a million dollars one day, 
I, I can't think of needing more than that. Like you can buy a house, a car, have savings. What do you need more? I, I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like I don't need a lot of money to be happy. But I also don't want to be famous, famous. I don't know. I don't know. Why the heck am I on YouTube? <laughs> That's why people do YouTube. For followers and for money. Why am I here? <clears throat> I mean, obviously I like both, just like everyone else, but it's, if I'm really asking myself, I don't feel like I want a lot of money. I don't feel like I want a lot of fame. I remember when I first created Nikocado 3. Um, I don't know what channel this is going to go on. I haven't uploaded on my main for a while. Maybe I should upload it. I don't know. Um, I remember when I first made Nikocado 3. I had like 40,000 subscribers that all hopped on over. The comments, I would get like five dislikes, you guys. Five dislikes and the rest were like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 thumbs ups. It will be like five dislikes. And the comments were so positive. And I wouldn't get that many. I'd say when I, maybe 500, which is still a lot, but I'd say like 500 to 1,000. I'd say so maybe 1,000. Never much above 1,000 though. This is when I first started. Well, yeah, I'd say 40, 50,000 subs. Uh, and I felt so inspired. I felt so joyful. Wake up, eat, talk, tell stories, make people laugh keep my farts in because they're funny, ah, ah, ah. you know, like I felt so, and everyone was nice about it. And the people who didn't like me, they just clicked out the video. They didn't have to announce it. Now it's like everyone has to announce it because it's trendy and they want that attention back, you know? So I was less famous and had less money because I was getting less views and it was a brand new channel, but I was happier. So people ask me all the time, like, how many subs do you want? I'm like, I don't care. I don't care about subs. I really don't. I mean, I do, but I think in terms of being happy, I was happiest when I first made my third channel and it was my true supporters. 40, 50,000 people came on over and they all loved me. And I'm not saying I need to have my butt kissed, but everyone likes their butt kissed. Okay. It feels good. Um, oh, there's, I have to answer more people. Nick, why do you ignore all the positive messages? I've messaged you on Instagram. I stand up for you and I never hear anything. Hi, Shaquan Dalin. Shaquan Dalin. Shaquan Dalin. That's a long name. Shaquan Dalin. Um, I'm, oh, and someone responded. I messaged Nick some nice words on his OnlyFans account and he messaged me back there. Hi, Amanda. I probably did because it's e okay. To be honest, first, um, Sean Quinnard, uh, Sean Quinnard de, de Leon. I am terrible. I can't say your name. <clears throat> um, big, first and foremost, there's so many. My videos now are getting 5,000 comments, sometimes more, and it's too much. I can't read 5,000 comments. That would take three hours. I mean, when you're scrolling through the comments, you only go through past maybe 100, 200 comments. There's thousands left. It's so much. So a lot of times I just don't see them because I'm trying not to read them all because if I infect my brain with the meanness, then I get really sad. Oh, sorry, this shut off. So to be honest with you, oh my God, um, the double chin, wow. To be honest with you, part of me really is just not seeing them. The other part of me doesn't, can't get to everyone, even if I could see them all. And then that's why Amanda says I responded back on OnlyFans. And I'm not saying you have to pay me because that's one of my membership sites. I'm not saying you have to pay me for me to recognize you. I'm trying to rec use, recognize you right now. My, my Twitter's free. Um, but it's just harder to. And if it's someplace smaller like OnlyFans, then I definitely see everyone. Um, but I'm not saying you should be following me there. I don't know if you're 18 or older. <coughs> um... We're gonna consider that. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna skip that too. Oh, oh, we're gonna skip that too. What's the point of lying? I told the truth. Are you gonna improve yourself? Can you solve out the drama? That has 78 likes. Are you going to improve yourself? I'm always striving to improve myself. Um, sometimes it's hard to. I have my own mental blocks and obstacles. Sometimes I do it and no one notices. Sometimes I feel like 
I'm happy where I am. Sometimes I feel like it's too hard to do anything, so I give up. It's just a lot going on in my head. Um, we're skipping that one. We're skipping that one. Same old broken records. I mean, it's like people don't have common sense. I mean, people with common sense would know the obvious answer to some of these, and people just don't have common sense. Um, what products do you put into your hair? Would you be willing to do a violin channel? This comes from Zion. I put, it's called Bunky Glue. I think it's called, it's Spanish. Hispanic, Latino. Um, Orlin got me hooked on it when we were in Colombia. Um, that's what I use. And would I do a violin channel? Probably not. I feel like no one would watch it. I used to do violin stuff um, on YouTube and you know, I used to upload some violin videos, just violin, and they get like 20,000, 25,000 views. That's like $8. I can't live off that. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't live off that. So, and, and I'm lucky. I'm lucky if I get um, paid for it to begin with because I don't own most music out there. It's all copyrighted. It's just underappreciated, it's under-requested, it's under, there's very little demand for it. I like classical music, which most people don't like. Uh, it's just, it's not gonna, and then I literally won't be able to pay my rent. It's gonna be, no, I just can't. Sometimes you have to do, here's the thing, this makes me happy. I was just about to say Oprah's quote. Sometimes you have to do what you don't wanna do until you can do what you want to do. But would I even want to put all that effort into violin music that no one's gonna like? I don't, I don't know. I think I'd rather just on OnlyFans. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> let me cut that word out. <laughs> Nick, edit it out, you said a bad word. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, we just got a new follower there. Speaking of OnlyFans. Um, I want to click on this video. It's being shared a lot. What is this? Sorry. Let me see. How do we go? Oop. How do we get out of this full screen? No, I don't want the full screen. Go back. I don't know, okay. Um, the, someone says, this comes from GIXX, are you going to grow up? Here come all the bad comments. It must have been the people I follow first <laughs> with the nice comments. Um, am I gonna grow up one day? Rice Cake says, how are you so skinny? I think that's sarcasm. Hi, Rice Cake. Obviously, it shouldn't be a surprise for the way I look. Thank you. Um, do you ever notice people like me that DM you really nice, encouraging things? I feel like you always focus on the hate and a lot of people like me are trying to DM you really nice things. Even before this drama happened, please know that people are rooting for you. This really hurt my feelings because I messaged him because I'm worried and I care. Maybe he has a lot going on. This comes from Lisa. Hi, Lisa Crone. And hi, um, Meridian, Meridian, Meridian. This has almost a hundred likes. Again, I am sorry. I just, it's just, I almost feel like it's natural that you focus on the two little mess ups, not the overall. Like when you get your test back and it's an 85%, you're not really focusing. You're not going to go through it and look what you got right. You're gonna go back and see what you got wrong and focus on them and see, what did I do? How do I make it better? Is this correct? Why didn't I do this? You're gonna... Uh, you go to a Broadway show and you see a performance um, and say like something bad happens, like the actor falls and hits their head. You're gonna be talking about that actor falling and hit their head the whole night, the whole way going back to the hotel, the whole next day at dinner. The show is great but you're gonna think about the actor falling in his head. We just like to focus on the, even if they're small. 
Um, is that an excuse? I mean, maybe. I feel like we're all wired that way. Actually, yes. Google it. I watched a TED talk last year about why humans focus on the negative. And it was a very inspiring, well, kind of sad because it's reality. Basically what I'm saying is what they were saying. Humans naturally, we are wired biologi biologically, <laughs> I don't even know, to focus on that, okay? We like to focus, it just happens, it's gonna happen. And so it's not that I don't care about the people supporting me, it's that I see all this hate, it's 50% thumbs down. 50% thumbs down. I have no business saying, oh, I have wonderful followers, people love me. I'm saying, I have 50% thumbs down. There is something wrong. I am not okay. <laughs> like, and I feel like if you were in my shoes, you would do the same thing too. So I know on your end it really hurts. And I'm, please know it's not deliberate. I don't wake up saying, there's people supporting me, but F them, I don't care. I never wake up saying that, you guys. Never ever in a million years do I say there's people out there who support me and enjoy my eating shows, but I don't care about them. I'll never say that. I'll never even think, it won't even occur, occur to me. It just doesn't, uh, it doesn't occur to me to say that. And it also doesn't occur to me to go and message everyone back who's saying nice things to me because I feel like them avoiding the inevitable or that I'm trying to cherry pick or uh, it's just too much. And there's also thousands. So this comes from Theron Joyner. Nick, I truly like watching you, um, but since the drama, I don't want the old Nick back. Old Nick come back. Hi, Theron Joyner. This has 63 likes. Um, Jennifer says it's too late for that. He's been on it on this for a couple years now. Um, that comes from Jennifer. Jennifer's right. I have been in drama for years. I feel like it's just, it finds me. I'm very dramatic. People like to poke me. People, um, know I react. People, I think real people instigate me on purpose. I'm not saying anything now about any, anyone in particular, but people, it's pretty obvious a lot of the things I get involved with comes from people who are kind of deliberately trying to get me react because they know it's going to work. Um, again, not this, but just think about the other stuff. I, and also drama just seems to find me and I'm also dramatic myself. So it's nothing new and I feel like it's always going to be kind of like this. So Jennifer's right. But Theron Joyner, I really used to watch you now. I don't want the old Nick feedback. I don't know if you're ever going to see the old Nick again because the future Nick is going to be medicated. The future Nick is going to have a therapist, has a therapist. The future Nick will be um, trying to find a healthy relationship. The future Nick's going to be moving forward. The future Nick might be more collective and thoughtful, which is even better than before Nick. I don't know if before Nick you loved so much. I've always been a, a nutcase. So... I don't know. Brittany says, uh, I, I don't want to talk about, I believe you, you have a whole avocado family on your side. Everyone's fighting about it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Someone made a slideshow when I was a kid. Dum bum bum bum. <laughs> I'm just watching it. I wonder if there's music. Yeah, there's music. Oh, it's me, Orlin. Um, do you look at cancel culture different now? This comes from Caramel. Oh, yes I do, Caramel. I mean, I always thought people took it to the extreme. One little minor thing goes wrong, everyone blows up, acts like you need to be kicked off the internet for making a mistake. I mean, it's very, very exaggerated. Cancel culture is a recent phenomenon. It's a mentality, but it's very mob-like. It's when people band together that feel that they have a common cause, a common purpose. And it's usually in response to someone making a mistake or having a slip up. And the instant reaction is to fight fire with fire. And it's... Um, I've watched it happen lots of times. I've never been canceled myself, ever. And I've made lots of mistakes. Um, 
But I still made my mistakes, so I don't want to be like, oh, people don't, are not allowed to be angry with me. You know, like, I shouldn't have said the F word. I shouldn't have screamed. I shouldn't have been, you know, it's like, and I don't even know which one you're referring to, because I've been in five different dramas recently. With one person, with one guy, with one girl, with another person, with the drama channels, with the other girl. There's been a lot. Of, I don't know who you're referring to and what you're thinking. I don't know. There's been so much that I've been involved with lately. People think there's a scandal on my OnlyFans account. That's another thing I'm up against. <laughs> I've been doing that for years. Or at least one year. Maybe almost two. Um... But do I look at cancel culture different? Um, a little bit, I feel like, wow, people really do, people don't know what they're talking about. Like people just don't know what they're talking about. People don't, and again, I don't know what you're referring to. This incident, this incident, this, 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 this problem, I mean, again, I'm in so much scandal right now. Um, but for some of it, it's like people, they don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm just like, people are making decisions based off of fluff. And I do see it differently now where I'm just like, I believe in cancel culture a little bit more than I used to. I used to feel like, no, everyone's justified to do what they feel and think, it's their fault. But now that I'm on the other end of it, I feel like people really, they'll hear one sentence and they're done. And that's not normal, that's not how any, like, if you were having an issue with your friend, you would know all the ins and outs, the details, what escalated, the climax, the, the back end, the back end of things. Uh, like, you would have so much detail, so much information. 90% of people flipping through YouTube videos, they're watching two minutes here, one minute of this, this video, one minute, you know, people are not going to sit down and watch hours and hours and hours and hours of all these drama videos about me, and it's like, People are not gonna do that. They don't have time for that. Like, um, so they're not, yeah. I do view, yes, to answer your question, I view it differently now. I definitely think, um, I'm never, I'm definitely seeing firsthand how things can get spun out of control. <clears throat> clean your vents. Everyone's telling me to clean my vents. No, <laughs> that's too hard. Um, who are you still friends with in the mukbang community? Mainly, I want to know if you and Trish are still good. <laughs> this comes from Audrey. Um, Trisha Paytas, yes, we're still good. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I literally just, we were texting the other day. Mukbang community-wise, literally 99% of the people. Um, if you and Orlin could do a getaway, oh. BTS cures everything. Who's that? Who are these people? Okay, um, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and answer these questions. This vent really reflects you. Comb your hair, please. And I'm back, this just shut off. Now we got some nice questions. Do you like seafood? Yes, I do, Allie. Um, tips on playing the violin, winter grays.